This week, we're going to see some cuteness. There's a lot of cuteness around lately. And here's some right there. Stay tuned. We found a dead squirrel on the road and I realized it was a female. And I thought, well, it had been nursing, obviously. So Jasmine one day said, hey, Bo caught a, a baby squirrel and it was just below this tree. See that nest box up there? That was where it came from. And the young ones were actually screaming, mommy, 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 where are you? So she went up, brought them down and has been bottle feeding them for a week and a half. And we're trying not to get attached to them, but it's kind of hard because, you know, this is, this is pretty cute. And so right now they're weaning, almost weaned. They're drinking on their own. They don't have to be fed from a syringe anymore. There were five, the dog ate one. That was six, and one died yesterday, the runt one, really a small one. Ow, you're trying to bite my ring there. So they need to, yeah, they're squirrels, they're rodents, they chew. They're trying to chew my ring off my finger. And so we are trying to get them used to climbing and get them used to, so we keep them here below the mother tree so that they can actually go from a modified old grocery cart. Oh, Jasmine's coming with the syringe here. She'll do a little bit of, of uh, breastfeeding. She'll do a little bit of simulated breastfeeding from a, the mother. Come on out, guys. Hey, Alvin, Alvin. No, Alvin are chipmunks, but you hear them? They're actually kneading underneath my sweater. They're kind of looking for some milk. So I'll show you what feeding of them looks like. Comme lui, là, il n'a pas encore les yeux ouverts. Il est un petit peu en retard. Il est un petit peu plus petit que les autres, lui aussi. J'ai remarqué. bien de faire dans le silence aussi pour pas qu'ils qu s'imprègnent trop de l'humain on répétait tout le temps au centre aux gens de pas parler aux animaux Il est bien réveillé, là. Les beaux petits yeux, grand ouvert. Ah, 
un autre mot. Ça, c'est lui qui a pas les yeux encore. Ils sont vraiment tout. Une femelle. Trois mâles. Ah, lui aussi est très, très réveillé. Ils vont être bons à partir bientôt. Deux femelles, trois mâles. Celui-là est un petit peu plus faible que les autres. Puis là, ils vont aller faire tout dos. On peut se voir comment qu'ils rentrent. Ils s'enterrent eux-mêmes dans, dans la litière. Puis ils se tiennent au chaud beaucoup entre eux aussi. Faudrait pas non plus, j'ai pas envie qu'ils s'habituent à sa présence comme étant quelque chose de pas dangereux parce que une fois dehors, ils vont. Mais ça se peut que ça soit pareil comme jetpack. Je veux dire, si le chien sait que c'est pas un qui, qui peut aller courir ouais. après. Mais c'est pas pour elle, c'est pour eux. Mmh. Que s'ils voient des chiens puis qu'ils font Ah, bon, mais ça, c'est pour... pour les protéger. Ta conclusion? Conclusion, euh, ça l'a pris à peu près une vingtaine de minutes. On devrait faire ça pendant une ou deux semaines, euh, puis après ça, ils vont être, être correct euh, pour partir. On va mélanger avec la bouffe aussi, euh, qui vont pouvoir commencer à manger, puis des graines, en espérant qu'ils repartent vers l'extérieur. Well, inside I heard it's a work, like you destroy everything, you can just fly in the bike, everything. Alright. Yeah, it must be fun. Hey, don't bite the edge of my camera. Am I a tree or am I a tree? One, two. They're real pros at it now. They know exactly what that means when the syringe comes. Look, this one's saying, hey, I want some of that too. Sometimes they fight over it. And she's been giving them different things in here. What is it? Apples? Cucumbers, carrots. I also have a little bit refill oh, in there. Oh, here's the refill. 
peanuts, they love they them. They love the peanuts. But we have to do it gradually because they cannot take nuts right away. They have to get used to softer food before for their digestive system to get used to it. And we introduced it time by time. First, we gave, we gave them apples while giving the milk three times a day. And then when they start eating the apples, then we feed them twice a day with the milk and give them apples. And then gradually, day by day, we put more solid food, less of that. And now they're, they're, they can go get them food, get the, the food. And before we used to put it in their hands, but now they go for it. So it's a good sign. But now, Stefan, I want to give the milk to other ones. Where, where are they? They're all in here. They're, they're sneaking. They're... You're like a little mama. enough and here's your peanut reward here and there they go into the coat see what's in there Oh, he's eating a peanut in there. You see that? He doesn't want his peanut taken away. I feel two. Where's the third one? Do you have two in there? Mm -hmm. They're all on you. The other one's in they my... like you. <laughs> I think the other one's in my... Oh yeah, the other one's in my pocket. Found the peanuts. Oh, there it is. Eating the peanut. <laughs> yep. So this week it wasn't much of a lesson. It was just some cuteness because this is the time of year where there's going to be a lot of little animals. And you know what? The key is don't pick them up if they're little. They're probably not abandoned. We knew these were abandoned because we found the mother dead on the road. And we knew she was a mother because she could definitely see underneath that somebody had been pulling on her teats. So leave the wild babies that you see lying around. They're probably not abandoned, right? No. They just go there, do their things, and they're small. <laughs> So enjoy the wildlife around you, don't pick them up, don't get rid of them, don't take them away from their mother, no. leave them be yeah. and enjoy seeing the cuteness. And if you have a question and you're not sure, you can always call, there are some places that take care of them. They will, if you call them, they will answer you, but most of the time you just leave them there, the mom will come back for them, but there's exceptions, but you can always ask if you're not sure, better than to do without knowing. Thanks for watching! Intrigued? Check out the virtual tour of the Permaculture Orchard. Have trees already? Pruningcourse.com Subscribe, please! Check out some of the other videos or playlists. There's more to come. Stay tuned. Bye! No. They just go there, do their things, and they're small. <laughs>